Hey guys, before this video started, I just want to announce that I have a brand new second channel. On this channel, you'll be able to find mainly top 10s from stuff that just isn't wrestling, as well as that video essays, discussion videos, maybe podcasts, vlogs, short films, documentaries, and more stuff. So be sure to go and subscribe to that. Come and get to maybe 750 subscribers. I don't know. Link is in the description. Thank you guys so much. What's up guys, this is WWE Superstar Austin Aries, and you are watching Top 10 Wrestling. Hell to the yes, my laptop is fixed, and welcome to 10 WWE Real Life Backstage Feuds, aka 10 pairs of wrestlers who hate each other. Let's say I don't know, 250 likes, I don't know how many likes we can get now, my channel's kind of died a bit. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. Number 10, Randy Orton vs Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy was set to be one of WWE's next top stars, but due to suspensions and injuries, it was just very unlucky and it didn't happen. But this real life feud between him and Randy started on his very last day in the WWE. Mr. Kennedy botched a move that could have potentially injured Randy Orton, Randy Orton went backstage and complained, and Kennedy was fired. And so you can obviously see why there's a feud. Kennedy is pissed off and thinks he was fired because of Orton. Number 9, Enzo Amore versus basically everyone. As of right now, Enzo Amore has major heat backstage in the WWE. And this is mainly because what you see, aka his character on TV, is essentially what he's actually like in real life. It's said that Enzo is very cocky and thinks that he's all that. He apparently once brought some friends from outside of wrestling backstage to a show and they were said that they were bad-mouthing the business and that's not a good way to get over with your peers. Number 8, Alberto Del Rio vs Triple H. Alberto Del Rio has to be the most immature wrestler in all of the business. Del Rio is constantly bad-mouthing Triple H and challenging him to fight on Periscope for no reason whatsoever. I mean, I get that your last WWE run didn't go as planned and, and there were promises, but challenging him to fight is not the solution. Number 7, JBL vs Mauro Ranallo. Speaking of immature wrestlers, JBL everyone. Earlier this year, Mauro Ranallo took a long absence from WWE, allegedly due to JBL bullying him. And even on screen, you can see on Bring It To The Table, JBL slamming Mauro Ranallo only for retweeting a Twitter poll. And it's, I mean, it's again, it's debated. Mauro Ranallo claims that he didn't leave because of JBL, but there's loads of evidence that shows it was. We don't know, but we can label this as a backstage feud. Especially after the Bring It To The Table thing, it's clear that JBL does not like Mauro Ranallo. Number 6, AJ Lee versus the Bella Twins. AJ Lee dislikes the Bella Twins because, well, she thought they had no place in a wrestling ring. In her Total Divas pipe bombshell, as they call it, a lot of the things she said in there were probably real thoughts that she had, what she really thought. And the next year, she would deliver the killer insult that talent is not sexually transmitted, referring to the fact that just because they are with John Cena and Daniel Bryan does not make them talented. That is savage. Number 5, Hulk Hogan vs Randy Savage. Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage had a very long on-off relationship. Randy Savage actually thought that Hulk Hogan was having an affair with Miss Elizabeth in real life. And apparently once there was an incident in Universal Studios, of all places, where Hulk Hogan challenged Macho Man to a fight and they nearly came to blows. Number 4, CM Punk vs Ryback. I could just say CM Punk vs the WWE in general, but that's a whole other list of wrestlers who hate the WWE, I mean, it's a whole other list. CM Punk and Ryback have major beef, especially after CM Punk left when he went on Colt Cabana's podcast and completely shit-talked him and his unsafe working. CM Punk fucking hated working with Ryback, and while they were in the WWE, he got Ryback to say that he was stupid as shit because Ryback fucked up a powerbomb spot and missed the table. I highly recommend you listen to the Art of Wrestling podcast with the episode of CM Punk on it. It's a great episode. Number 3, Sasha Banks vs Alexa Bliss. Now there's not really much said on this feud and where it stemmed from, but on an episode of Raw Talk, Sasha Banks went off on Alexa saying that she's not actually a long time fan, called her a Hollywood act and mocked that she's going to be on the next season of Total Divas. 
And in a recent interview, Alexa Bliss actually confirms this real life heat. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say on it. Well, what I can say is that it's good and mature from both of them that they don't let this beef affect their matches. I think that's great and very professional. Number two, Matt Hardy versus Edge. Matt Hardy was dating Lita. Lita cheated on Matt Hardy with Edge, which sparked one of the biggest real life feuds in WWE history. WWE even turned it into a storyline before they fired him, Matt Hardy and rehired him. They turned it into a storyline and a big high profile feud in WWE. But with that being said, in a Reddit AMA from two years ago, Matt Hardy did say that him and Edge are completely cool, which is great. Number one, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Not gonna lie, I'm really sick of talking about Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels feud, but the thing is, it fits into so many lists. I can make a top 10 about anything, and one in five, one in five top 10s I make will have Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels mentioned in it somewhere. That's what I'm trying to say. This real life feud reached its peak when uh, the Montreal school job took place, and Bret Hart thought Shawn Michaels had something to do with it. And when Bret Hart was inducted into the Hall of Fame, he wanted nothing to do with Shawn Michaels at all while he was there. Thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy then smack that like button, it's good to be back. Really sorry about being gone again, my PC was broken. Um, I want to talk about my GCSEs really quickly because I got my results for them about uh, a week and a half ago, a while ago, but I didn't upload. And I did pass my GCSEs, so that inconsistency during that revision period was worth it because it's helped me pass my GCSEs. Yeah guys, thanks for being patient with me. Be sure to check out my Instagram at I'm Tom Bell. Follow me on Twitter at Top 10 Wrestling. Go to store.top10wrestling.com for my merchandise. Goodbye and keep on rolling.